lifestyle modification. We, if the patient is having pain in the knee joint, we can start asking to use a walking aid, right? In step process, then we can, can go for injection therapy. If the disease is already advanced, then there is no point of using all these. Then we have to have surgical uh, manipulations for dealing with these problems. Now, giving the corticosteroid, you must know the mechanism of infection. If there is a pain in the knee joint or in the shoulder joint, what is the cause of pain? What is the cause of pain? Why is it Sir, prostaglandins or different muscle conditions, injuries. Pain in the joint, arthritis is caused by arthritis. Why is pain in the joint? Inflammation. Very good. So, the first thing is that any joint problem, which is called inflammatory joint disease, and these inflammatory joint disease may be rheumatoid, osteoarthritis, ankylosing, whatever. The term is inflammation. The first thing in the joint which is causing pain is inflammation of the synovial membrane. So anything which damps down that inflammation is the treatment for that joint pain. So what happens in the joint when we inject the joint, the corticosteroids acts as anti-inflammatory agent. It damps down the inflammatory process of the synovium, improves the pain. Number one. And somehow, some people think that it has a direct analgesic effect as well. Now, there are multiple steroids which we use, like triamcinolone, methylprednisone, beta-methasone, and hydrocortisone. The most, first two are the most commonly used. Methylprednisone, the most commonly used drug, steroid drug for intraortical injection in America, and triamcinolone is the second most commonly used. Now, local anesthesia. Now, the local anesthetic of Kurvi steroid is direct after it is in the name of the doctor. This is very concentrated. And the other is the volume of the doctor. Now, to increase the volume and to make it diluted, we add local anesthetic agent. So, local anesthetic agent is the role kya ho? to increase the volume to add in damping down the pain and to distract the joint. Joint to distract the joint. Volume was zada ho jata, to joint ki har area mein chala jata. Okay? So these are the basic functions of the local anesthetic agent. Hote koon koon se local anesthetic? Dignocaine, Marcaine, and Trilocaine. So these are, the first two are the basically used uh, local anesthesia, uh, local anesthetic agents, <coughs> along with the steroid in the injection therapy. Other drugs, Yobi Amin, Professor Amin Pia Bhi Paate Gain, Hyaluronic Acid is going to happen. Hyaluronic Acid basically, yeah, it's a natural sort of thing which lubricates the joints, right? Now, people are using and using no matter what is the stage of the disease. If you talk about osteoarthritis, there are four stages, stage one, two, three, and four. Yes, that is a wonderful drug for only first two stages, stage one and stage two. Giving hyaluronic acid, which is again very costly, in stage three and stage four means nothing. It doesn't work, but people are using it, right? So this is good only for initial phase of the disease process if we talk about osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. Another agent is called polydocanol. Now it is nothing but a sclerosing local anesthetic agent and that is used for any tendinopathy. PRP is we discussed here. PRP is kya hote? Patient apna blood liya. Usme se platelet rich plasma ko separate kiya and then inject back into the knee joint. Now, what is the function of this? <coughs> People believe that this enhances the reparative process in the joint. Now, this reparative process, which is a natural sort of thing, improves the function of the cartilage and all the structures within the joint. 
but what is the actual benefit of this problem, of this therapy? Again, it is wonderful for stage 1 and stage 2. People are using in stage 3 and stage 4, which is again useless. A new sort of thing, that is called botulinum toxin, the botox injection, joint relaxing. Does it work? No. Yeah. Yeah. Botulinum, yes. People are using, and it is again a device to treat the pain. What is the mechanism of action of this? Yes, it comes happen. It releases a neurotransmitter, and that that damps down the track of sensory nerves. The sensory nerves will block everything. The sensory nerves will block everything. So sensations come out, the pain come out. Collagenesis. Collagenesis. Again, the natural source of that, or where does it come from? 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 Stem cell therapy, sir, I'm going to give you a little bit of detail. The stem cell therapy, it is under very much initial phases of the process which I'm doing. Uses क्या है क्या नहीं nobody knows but people are using I saw one patient last week and she had advanced rheumatoid arthritis she was she wheelchair bound and she had this session on the right left knee joint for 2.5 lakh rupees and that is useless totally useless in Lahore so it should be given something in mind. कोई बात कि हम मिस यूज़ कर रहे हैं यूज़ तो है यूज़ कहाँ पे है बैड वर्ड डिफरेंस अपॉन प्रॉपर सिलेक्शन ऑफ़ द पेशेंट नोइंग द प्रोटोकॉल एंड गिविंग अ ज्यूडिशियस यूज़ ऑफ़ द इंजेक्शन इफ वी मेक दिस आउट ऑफ़ द ट्रैक देन यू एंड अप विथ प्रॉब्लम्स एंड व्हाट आर दोस प्रॉब्लम्स इंफेक्शन का इसको सेक्टिक आर्थराइटिस कहते हैं एक बार हो जाए तो जो जॉइंट बच्चा भी होता है जिसमें पेशेंट चल रहा था बिल्कुल फायर हो जाता है क्योंकि इंफेक्शन ईट अवेस एवरीथिंग विदेन द जॉइंट सो पेशेंट वुड एंड अप फिर अल्टीमेटली उसको क्या करना पड़ता है जॉइंट तो दलेगा नहीं तो कंफ्यूज अगर हम सेप्टिक मेयर की प्रोटोकॉल को इग्नोर करें, तो ये इंटर मस्कुलर इंजेक्शन नहीं है कि कॉटन लिया ऐसे लगाई और इंजेक्शन लगा दी दो। यू हैव टू हैव अ गुड क्लीन एनवायरनमेंट यूजिंग ग्लास, पेंट एवरी जॉइंट कंपलीटली एंड देन इंजेक्ट, राइट? बिल्कुल उड़ाव जॉइंट है ना? अच्छा जी, एक चीज होती तो पेशेंट जब भी विजिट करेगा महीने बाद दो महीने बाद उसको चुप में इंजेक्शन लगाना आता है वो कहेगा ये डॉक्टर पेशेंट वगैरह मेरे को उसे बड़ा सिंगला लगा तो पहले भी ठीक हो गया भी फिर इंजेक्शन अगले महीने क्या फिर इंजेक्शन तो मल्टीपल इंजेक्शन इंटरआर्टिकल इंजेक्शन सो दैट लीड्स ये सब कॉन्ट्रोल एरिया होता है, ठीक है? जब हम मल्टीपल स्टीरोइड इंजेक्शन लग जाते हैं जॉइंट के अंदर, तो सब कॉन्ट्रोल एरिया के अंदर माइक्रो फ्रैक्चर्स आ जाते हैं, और माइक्रो फ्रैक्चर्स की वजह से जॉइंट मजीद क्लास हो जाते हैं, बोन इरोड हो जाती है, नंबर वन, नंबर टू, मल्टीपल इंजेक्शन the pain you feeling is the proprioception you have, you know, the proprioception is over, the proprioception is over, the joint is over, the disease is about right now. Ultimately, this joint becomes a sharp core joint. Sharp core joint. Okay? So, it's a late complication of giving multiple joint injection. Now, coming to side effects. So, side effects may be post-injection flare-up of the pain. ये बड़ा कॉमन होता है। 
आप मिक्सर लगा के क्लिनिक से निकलते हैं दो घंटे बाद पेशेंट का पेन हो रहा है रात को सो रहा है इसका बारह बजे डॉक्टर साहब दर्द हो रही है ठीक है तो ये क्यों होती है एनी वन दिस पेन इज बेसिकली बिकॉज ऑफ इरिटेशन ऑफ दॉटिकोस्टीरोड मॉलिक्यूल टू द सेलोवियल मैमरे and that gives a very very transient effect of inflammation giving you transient sort of pain and this incident is more if we use methyl prednisone <coughs> for tramcinolone this is almost negligible right then skin deep pigmentation patient ko apne deep pigment ke injection lagaya aur jis se skin white ho jati hai aur patient mein ye baat aati hai ki aata hai the doctor mein full vary hogi usi ki tikka laaya hai kuch ho gaya so this is again a transient sort of thing it pigmentation happens again then fat atrophy ki kya hoti hai bahut sare logon ke heel pain hote hain theek hai kya kehte hain usko plantar fasciitis isi tarah plantar fasciitis mein jab bhi pe na patient aaya bar bar injection lagayenge to heel ka useful fat pad against kam chalte hain wo atrophy ho jati hai to patient kya hoga bone pe chalega bone pe chal jaate hain to pain hamesha ke liye permanent sort of thing ho jayegi so multiple injection should be provided at the same spot agar patient ko bleeding disorder hai please come in for the kiya ho ya thrombocytopenia to fit bleeding disorder bhi ho sakta hai steroid shock calcification ye bhi problem hoti hai steroid arthropathy maine bhi aapko bata di hai micro fracture ko start ho sara ko sara the steroid in a large weight bearing tendon of the body and the most common tendon is tendon achilles if you inject around the tendon it is over the substance substance of the tendon then the blood would be tendon rupture and it is very common please avoid injection around the heel mostly in the back of the heel area don't inject then there may be systemic complications and patient crushing patient ko aapne injection lagaya udhar ek line pe baithe hote hain doctor saab ekdam se patient ka chehra lal ho jata hai ya uska blood pressure ekdam shoot kar jata hai to ye bhi transient hota hai aur agar patient diabetic hai to pehle to aapne uske precaution liye lene ki diabetes should be controlled the blood sugar level should not be more than 200 and hba hb1c should be less than 8 right aur phir bhi kuch din baad patient aake kehta hai doctor tikka laaya thi लेकिन शुगर बड़ी से थले हो रही है तो ये डायबिटीज कुछ दिन के लिए हो जाता है मेंस्ट्रुअल इरेगुलरिटीज भी हैपन इन फीमेल एंड वेरी रेयर वेरी रेयर एनाफिलेक्सिस एंड इफ इट इज देयर दैट शुड बी प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस टू टेक्स नाउ ये दो गए इंजेक्शन अब इंजेक्शन लगाने के लिए पहले तो हमें ये पता चलना चाहिए कि डायग्नोसिस क्या होता है मरीज की बीमारी क्या है है ना वी शुड नॉट be a symptomatic sort of a doctor is tarah mein bhi aap doctor hote hain jo aap batai jayenge uski dawai milti jayegi so symptomatic treatment treatment should be diagnosis aapko diagnosis of the patient ka pata ho uske baad aapko uski treatment ko plan karna hota hai to diagnosis ke liye aap sare jante hain kya karte hain sabse pehle brief history hai na uske baad examination fir investigation is in here history physical examination and investigation so history for example a young female maybe 25 years of age comes to you with pain in multiple joint area knee bhi dukh rahe hain haath bhi dukh rahe hain with morning stiffness and uh, along with morning the symmetrical problem so kya diagnosis banega pain mein kya aayega all right to mother fir hum usko examination karenge क्या एग्जामिनेशन करेंगे ऑर्थोपेडिक फिजिकल थेरेपी मारे का तीन तरीके एग्जामिनेशन के लुक फील एंड मूव है मेडिसिन में इंस्पेक्शन पैल्पेशन परकेशन ऑक्सीडेशन हमारे पास तीन क्या है लुक फील एंड मूव तो लुक में इंस्पेक्शन फील में हाथ लगा के सारी चीजें एंड मूव में क्या करते हैं इंजेक्ट इन बोथ एक्टिव एंड पैसिव रेंज ऑफ मूवमेंट तो लुक फील मूव हिस्ट्री एंड देन इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड देन यू मेक द डायग्नोसिस राइट आपके में मेडिकल लीगल अपने आप को बचाना है कैसे बचाएंगे आपने पहले इंफॉर्म कंसेंट लेना है 
Thank you very much, sir. Now I would request Professor Dr. Jaz Ahmed to please come on stage and give a brief talk about general guidelines for injection therapy. Clinical examination. Gain no sepa ke mariz aye aur aapne ji bas ki kare. 
अब अभी जैसे नीम साहब ने बताया कि हिस्ट्री में जो दो बातें हैं वो बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट आपने पूछनी है इंजेक्शन थेरेपी के हवाले से फर्स्ट सम नॉन एलर्जी टू एनी ड्रग स्पेशली लोकल एनर्जेटिक वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड सेकेंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ एनी ब्लीडिंग टेंडेंसी किसी पेशेंट को कोई कोई ऐसी प्रॉब्लम आप इंजेक्ट कर दें हीमारोसिस हो जाए इन्फेक्शन हो जाए नहीं सो so, आपकी इंट्रा आर्टिकुलर इंजेक्शन की हिस्ट्री में ये दो बातें होनी बड़ी जरूरी है ड्रग एलर्जी एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ एनी ब्लीडिंग ब्लीडिंग डिसऑर्डर उससे आगे जैसे भी बताया गया आपने कंसेंट जरूर लेंगे रिटर्न कंसेंट होनी चाहिए ठीक है टू अवॉइड मेडिकल इशू 